Check out Sexy Tarot. She has the answer. Leo, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio. Are the viewers waiting to watch Sexy Tarot? Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Are the number one subscribers wondering what Sexy sees? You are here just to be in the know. The live stream is starting. Now here's Sexy Tarot. Well, hello, Aries, and welcome to Sexy Tarot. Aries, this will be your edition of Sexy Heads the Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to be notified when I go live. Aries, is a friendly reminder, we all have male and female energies within us. Although you see genders on the cards, keep in mind their energies. Aries. As I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the energy resonates more with the cross watcher, feel free to swap the energies. Energies are fluid. Aries. As I'm progressing through the reading, if you find the reading does not resonate with you at all, I strongly encourage you to check out the readings for your rising Venus and Moon placements. All right, Aries, I pray you all well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is intended to be your general reading. There will be an extended to this general reading. You can find the link to your extended reading in the description box below for both members and non-members. Okay, I got people liking and... <laughs> Uh, sending money and stuff so excuse that so let's get into your energy on the prayer some of you are Aries and Cancer so Aries I love your energy it's highly vibrational you're confident you, you have a go-getter can-do attitude you are determined your determination is off the hook so I'm really excited to see what this reading is about to tell you, Aries. And please remain, I'm here, but please remain confident during this time. One good shuffle for the Aries. Because it looks like it's going to be a conflict of some sort. I'm looking at my cards and how they're behaving. And you might be standing your ground against something. But I'm hearing go with the flow. Go with the flow. Spirit, what is what energy should Aries be made aware of at this time. Aries, you have temperance. Go with the flow. <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups. Go with the flow. The Five of Pentacles. The Hermit. It's like you're real impatient right now. You And I'm not being funny, but you, you want to mess around and sabotage something for yourself. We have the Hermit, the Ten of Wands, the Empress, the Ten of Pentacles, Justice. It's going to work out in the Seven of Swords. Be careful of that slick shit. I'm just telling you that get that, that quick route, that quick route going to get you something. Aries, there's a blessing coming into you. Excuse me. The signs I have on the table are Sagittarius and Libra and Taurus. There's a blessing coming into you. Okay, or maybe you want to give something to a Virgo. I don't know. But whatever this blessing is coming into you, you trying to do some soul searching. Like, is this the right thing to do for my abundance? Is this the right thing to do to grow something? Is this, the, I hear you asking these questions. Is this the right thing to do towards the parents of my, ch parent of my child? Okay. So there's going to be some compromising and negotiations to resolve some financial matters. I see um, somebody is trying to take somebody's money here. Now, I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody trying to take money from you. But this energy, I'm telling you, some of you could be having financial hardships or having to pay out a lot of money. You know, but I see if you hang in there, you'll be fine. But it looked like it's some negotiations. It's hard to compromise with somebody. But Aries, you're not showing up in a real good energy here. I got to be honest. It could be vice versa. It looked like you're trying to do something quicker or strategize something in your favor. But it's, the way it's being done, be careful because the karma card is out here. Okay? 
at the bottom of the deck, the reason for this read in the Eight of Swords, because you feel stuck. You feel like you blocked. You can feel like you can't move, and you have some fear, but this Eight of Swords is in the person's mind. It's not really realistic, so I need you to... Uh, I keep hearing this giving you this warning. It's telling me to give you this warning to be careful. At the bottom of the deck, here you go, Aries, because it looks like you're trying to do something really quickly, and it's like, this could be involving a Gemini, a Pisces, a, you or a Taurus. But it seems like you angry and you going the other way. But I'm telling you, it's something you're unaware of about this decision. It's truth that's being spoken. Somebody's being very kind and you need to see it from another perspective. But for you, it's like you need something done real quick or something. And I, I really want to caution you because I'm being told to caution you. Aries, you have temperance. Temperance. Okay, this is requiring a patience. It's going to take some time. Okay, whatever this is. So there is a compromise and a negotiation going on to bring something together. Why is temperance here for Aries? Spirit, please and thank you. Why is temperance here? Yeah, it's like you, no offense, you're trying to get out of it. And I don't know if that's meant for you to do. Like, you don't have to work on making some changes, and I'm going to get to that. It's like somebody wants you to be just as fair to them as they are to you. At the bottom of the deck, you have forgive and nostalgia. It's like things are happening different, differently than they did in the past. And there are some changes, and you have to move with it. Okay, because right now, right now, somebody needs your understanding. They need your forgiveness. Okay, or maybe you want somebody's understanding right now or their forgiveness. Okay, but release your guilt. Release your guilt. The cycle is being closed out, Aries. Okay? It, it, it's like, it, see, it's time for healing, not war. Don't fight against this. Okay? And with confidence, it comes with time and practice. These changes are going to allow you to build. Okay? It's going to allow you to build. It's not the way you exactly want it to be, but you are going to be able to be rebuild it the way you want it to be. Okay, so it's not time for war, Aries. It's just not. Aries, this is going to take time. Whatever this compromise, this negotiation, or this coming back together is going to take some time. And with sharks swimming away from the situation, I feel like you need to work on this. This feels like, yeah, escape is. It's right here. Escape is. Come home to yourself. It seems like you're trying to escape this. Whatever this, this work is or whatever these changes are. And, and you're not going to be able to escape it. Or your advice is to not escape it. To go with the flow. Because you're trying to get away from something. And she's reading this book. There's a lesson to be learned here. What do you want to tell Aries about this escapist energy? It don't, no offense. It, it got a slick overtone to it. Healer. So, I feel like, um, I'm hearing avoidant personality, so I feel like something is being healed, something is being worked on, something's being fixed here, and it's not, it's not time, you, it's not time to run away, like, that's what I keep hearing, it's not time to run away, you have to give this some time, it's being worked out. And I'm hearing you might have to do your part. It's like because for some reason you you, you don't want to do this and you want to get away from whatever this is. You have security and passion. Okay. So this is you wanting what you want when you want it. And that's not a bad thing. It's, it's almost like immediately. Immediately. Whatever this prosperity is. And you have the passion and the willpower to get this security, right? But it calls for you grounding yourself. You have to plant some more seeds. 
You have to plant some more seeds in order for this prosperity, in order to have this new beginning, this happiness, this fresh start. Because if this feel real rushed, like I need to do this now, or I ain't got time to wait for them, let me see how I can do it my way or get out of it. Aries, you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Cups. So there's a blessing here for you. And you thinking like, do I have the answers? Do I know where to go in relation to get this blessing? But there's an element of respect here. Okay, this could involve some money. You know, like, how am I going to get this money? That's what I'm hearing. I feel like somebody gave you an answer already, and you might not like this answer. But it, it's like you're going to have to accept it for what it is right now. It's a tower moment about to approach you because there's several fives out here, meaning it's five of pentacles. You feel like nobody understands you. You feel abandoned, left out in the cold. Some of y'all could have hurt yourself if you see these people in these crutches. So please be careful. With the stars, you can manifest your every wish. So these changes are so that, you know, um, you're not getting your way right now. That's what it is. You're not getting your way. And... It's because you have a responsibility here. You have a responsibility to do your part. Everything, I'm here, everything can go your way. And I'm in the extent that I'm going to dive deeper into these energies and we're going to get specific. Aries, you have the hermit, the hermit, um, and some of you are dealing with a Virgo. So this is you looking into the situation, looking for other avenues, okay, doing soul searching here, and you feel alone. And this is what you're thinking about is like you you're not being heard. You're not being seen. We'll sing your own song. You know what it is you want to do, and this is all you can think about. But with rebirth, there's some sort of renewal going on here. And and I feel like you is saying you need to change your perception and your perspective because there's a bigger picture going on here. Aries, you have the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands. So whatever this is, this is in the middle of your reading. So you feel like something's very overwhelming. You feel like this load is too heavy for you to bear. And with mourning, the world awaits you in relation to your stability. It's like you're being made to wait. And that's hard for you. Because with awakening, is something right now that's being brought to your attention. And it's hard on you because it's causing you to slow down. Aries, you have the Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy. So when it comes to this abundance, when it comes to this project, when it comes to starting whatever this is, when it comes to the parent of your child, when it comes to growth, right? Flower, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. What can you really do here? How much control do you have? Can this grow? Does it match you? Well, alchemists. Because you have all the tools you need, but it's something here where what you're saying, see how she's closing her mouth? I feel like you need to go with the flow. Go with the flow. Because it's almost like you're trying to manipulate, manipulate a situation and would be honest with yourself, it's like, no, will you make this hard for yourself? Aries, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So this is money, shared assets, resources. Maybe some of you are married. But with mural. Be your own first priority. I feel like all you're thinking about is this money. All you're thinking about is what you have to do with your money and your home for your legacy, right? But with incubation, there's something growing here. We saw the Empress. So whatever this is, is growing. You just have to be a little patient, okay? But the but because I keep hearing it's, it's something like where you're making it harder on yourself. Aries, you have justice, justice. 
Some of you are dealing with a Libra. So I need you to weigh the pros and cons of the situation. Is this fair? Are you being treated fairly? Are you treating others fairly? But with expectations, because something's stagnant here. Don't seek anyone's approval. I feel like you, you need to change your perspective here. Something stagnant and you feel like you don't need anybody else's advice. You know what's right. But I'm telling you, you need guidance. Because that's what that says. Don't seek anyone's approval. But would that be fair? Because here you're being told to seek guidance. So there's somebody here trying to balance the scales. Make sure something's fair. Now this seven of swords energy... I don't know if this is you, but it's in your reading. So it looks like you're trying to get away with something or get out of something. And it doesn't feel like very good energy. It doesn't. And with the lavender energy, lavender is about healing, right? And um, uh, raising your vibration. This is what lavender does. Okay, surround yourself with love. I feel like with this energy, this is almost selfish energy. Taking your emotions out of a situation. I feel like there are people that care about you, but you just want to get away from them. Okay? But it's something... I, I hope you're not playing with somebody kindness areas. Because with the spring card being here, something is being birthed right now. So how are you bringing it to fruition? How are you planting these seeds? Are you growing something beautiful? Or are you growing something toxic? So Aries, it looks like right now you're being awakened to something that's being resolved. It's being resolved. There's some responsibilities that you need to be aware of and it is being brought to your attention. Okay? Because someone or you is trying to build something. So please respect this process. Respect the guidance you're being given. And be honest with yourself. Are you rushing it? Are you manipulating this situation? And any extent that I'm going to dive deeper into these energies. And we're going to see why spirit is telling you this. Because you feel stuck. And you're trying to get away from it. But you're going from the eight of swords. And your final card is the seven of swords. So you're going backwards. So I would just be patient if I was you. So I'll see you in the extended. Aries, Aries, Aries. This is me, Edition Sexy Hair to Scoop. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, Aries. If you would like to be notified the next time I go live or upload a video. Peace, Aries. Mm -hmm.